Hello and good evening. This is Angela with Angela's Crafty Space. And I want to give a big hug to each and every one of my subscribers right now. I am overwhelmed with the amount of love that I've been shown the past couple days. And I had to make a video. So I hurried up and finished my journal. Um, put a lot of love in it and everything like that of course but I did want to finish it up so I went and I sewed all my journal cards the last couple days and finished it up so I wanted to do a uh, flip through of it but I also wanted to say welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my subscribers um, big hugs great big hugs so this is it so this is my i don't know what to call it it's got bible verses in it and it's got a real uplifting um theme to it so it could be like a prayer journal it could be um just your everyday journal you know it doesn't really have a specific purpose so this is my creation using um tsunamirose.net digitals i have used a combination of seven different kits in this journal so of course i will link her below so let's get started so this is the cover of course i did some layering um i have videos of this on my facebook group um, from lives of me creating the cover <clears throat> excuse me so the cover is stitched diagonally um across like Gail does on her covers that she makes out of book pages and collages so these are this is a collage book cover that I did I put book corners on it sewed around it and diagonally sewed it I have a very vintage lace on the edge and the scripture on the front reads first chronicles 103 7 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And I called it a private diary. <clears throat> um, and I left room there for, you know, your signature. Or, you know, you could just write your name there. Or, you know, whatever, a nickname. Whatever you want. Or you don't even have to. You can leave it blank. Cover it up. It's yours once you buy it, right? <clears throat> So let's go inside. So it's wrapped with this beautiful sari silk that I get from um, Tammy. She sells at Keisha's Creations like I do. Um, so she has a lot of sari silk for sale a lot. Um, so this is the inside cover. Let me get centered here. And again, you can see the beautiful collage work. Um, the inside pocket is lace. And then I made this big journaling spot. I collaged inside. It has a little label that Daisy did up. Um, these are her faith labels. It says, to love another person is to see the face of God. And then there's the back. So I just wanted to display her digitals. So you won't see really anything else in here except for Daisy's digitals. Um, I mean, I might have backed something with something else, but that's about it. So this is backed with straw paper. And then I just put in some uh, fussy cutting that I did out of some digitals that I didn't use, some scriptures that I didn't use. So those are in that envelope. And that's in the front pocket. And then the first page of the journal, you have a scripture from Nahum 1, 7. The Lord is good, a refuge in <clears throat> times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. And I have a fabric uh, ruffle there. And I did some butterfly stamping on the back. So it's kind of showing through on the front. Which I think is really cool because of where it landed. And that was not planned. <laughs> Just happened. So here's the back of that page. And you see there it has another one of those faith labels. It says, those who walk with God always reach their destination. And it's in a little collage. And then I stamped a B. And then here we have a piece of straw paper with some lace. And it says there, you are enough. 
This is fussy cut out of one of the digital sheets. Here we have a pocket I made out of the digital and I have some washi tape on it, but then it has a, one of the faith labels that say, remember who you are. Don't compromise for anyone, for any reason. You are a child of the almighty God. Live that truth. Yes, it does. And then here's another scripture here. I won't read them all, but <clears throat> they're very uplifting um, things. And here's a little postcard tag and a book pocket tag. Uh, pocket so I thought that was kind of cool little neat different design in there oh yeah and then you have this uh, digital in the back which is like this actually I had it in there upside down <laughs> all right so then you have some dot paper I'm not sure if that's coming through or not um, but it has dots on it people uh, a lot of people like that for like bullet journaling <clears throat> And then here we have a pocket from one of the kits and a little journaling spot that I uh, created from some of the kit paper and one of the bell jars. Love those. They're so fun. Fun kits to work with, Daisy. I had a blast. And some coffee dyed paper that's been embossed. Some Kool-Aid dyed paper. And then we have a little pocket uh, creation that I did. I have a YouTube video on this. So you, it's like a policy envelope double pocket, I think I called it. So this opens up and I have like a little card here. It says, above all, do thy own self be true. And then this is just a collage of some little snippets from Tim Holtz. But this pocket is made from, one, from a digital from Daisy tsunamirose.net and so is this and I fussy cut this out of one of the uh, full sheets and then I backed it with avocado dyed paper and that slips in the side pocket here of part of this pocket and then I put it on as a top loading pocket so then I made this tag for it and this is a part of a digital very beautiful digital kits. I mean, you can't go wrong. Anything you choose will go with anything else. That's the beauty of it. That's why I could put seven kits together in one journal. This is graph paper. <clears throat> Another pocket from the pocket kit. And here it says, God loves each of us as if there were only one of us. How true is that? <clears throat> Love it. I don't know what's going on with my throat and I apologize. So that little tag is in there. And a lot of the tags, I put the little grommet on it. I just like that look. You could put a string through it or whatever you'd like. I'm just going to take the first few out so you guys can see that everything is backed and stitched. And there's a bunch of stenciling behind it. This is a double pocket that flips open for journaling here. And I closed it with a magnet. And then we have this great big journaling spot here. A lot of the journaling cards are not decorated. That's why I included a bunch of labels and fussy cuts in, um, in the journal pockets. So, I mean, you know, you can use them for decoration. So this is the pocket that Gail did her video on for those that came over from Gail. So this is the triple pocket belly band. So I have my uh, one pocket there, one pocket there, and then the pocket here, and then you have your belly band. And I stenciled all around it. And then I put one of the little faith labels here that says, God never said that their journey would be easy, but he did say that the arrival would be worthwhile. So then in here, I again, put some labels. Now these are the labels that I made with my stamps and there's some whale tail tab punches as well. So I made these with my stamps because Daisy hadn't came out with the faith labels yet. So I wanted some labels in my journal but then she came out with the faith labels so I used those instead. But I'm going to include these in this journal for decoration purposes. Um, like I said I didn't decorate a lot of the ephemera. 
So this little tag again is from the kit. Everything in here is from the kit and it's backed with blueberry uh, paper or blackberry, blackberry dyed paper. Yeah. And then the little sticker says, God loves you. That's one of the labels from Daisy's new kit. And then I have this little tag and this little tag. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And then that one goes up here. And everything is stitched around. Yeah, that little label there is like a surprise when you pull these out. I like to do that in my journals. And then you have the back pocket here, which is pocket number three. Oops, I gotta get it in the pocket. Well, it's not cooperating. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, and then we have this page here. So it's all nicely stenciled and you have a layered paper clip that's been altered there. And then you have this beautiful journaling card that I made. And then here you have a little collaging that I did with God All Things Are Possible. Lots of stenciling, lots of lace on the edges, as you can see. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. <clears throat> There's another little pocket that I did out of a paper bag. So I've got a couple of tags in there and then a couple of the little tags in the front pocket. There's actually two pockets there, one in the front and one in the back. And same thing here. There's a pocket here and a pocket in the back. This is stencil uh, coffee dyed paper. This is onion skin paper. And this envelope here, I haven't put anything in yet. And I'm not sure that I will. I think I might leave that empty for the, the person who gets this journal. As you know, I do sell all my journals or I give them away. I do not keep any of my journals. So <clears throat> this one will be going up for sale on Keisha's Creations, like all my other um, journals and arts and crafts that I do to sell there. So I'll be sure to link her below um, as well. Um, yeah, so here's a little pocket that I made out of the digital kits. So what I did here is I folded a piece of paper in half and then I just rounded the corners on this one and layered them and made a pocket here and a pocket here. That's all. Simple. Right? Doesn't have to be complicated. And here is another belly band pocket idea that I uh, did in here where it's just a pocket on the belly band itself. So you have the belly band here and then it's just a pocket on it that I made out of the paper. Here's another one of the uh, belly band pockets, except it's just a regular pocket. I didn't make it a belly band on this one. So, um, and it's got a bunch of uh, sewn tags and whatnot in it for your journaling pleasure. Here's another big journaling card. That one was backed with a digital. This is a digital inside here. I'm not going to pull it out, but you can just see it says cash account. Um, stencil behind. This is that Blackberry paper. So pretty. Here I made this little hangy tag out of the circle, um, circle tabs, she calls it. It's her roses circle tabs kit. I put that on one of these. I put a couple little glass beads on it and then has this tag in it that's uh, backed with some coffee dyed paper. Here we have a great big tag and I didn't punch it but I might, I don't know, I might just leave it like that. It's backed with, um, ooh, I can't remember, uh, red cabbage dye. That one is, turns blue, yes it does. Um, it's like a dark purplish blue, actually. Um, and then we have this one here and this one back with the digitals. 
And then we have this bell jar that I just made this card for. And this digital here, all these journaling cards, well, most of the big journaling cards are from Life a Bloom kit, I believe it's called. Yeah, I really enjoyed using that kit for my journaling cards for this journal. Okay. And then we have this nice pocket. Here's another one of those journaling cards that's from that kit. Life, Life is a Bloom, something like that. And then here's one of the labels. I used that one. <laughs> Couldn't resist, right? Here's another fabric ruffle. Some stenciling and color. Here it says we, we love because he first loved us. And another one of the labels that I made. And then kindness matters. It's another envelope here. Nothing in it. Um, and a journaling card. And I signed it, made by Angela E. Denlinger, with love and put a heart. And then here you have another pocket. And this little thing is a little notebook. So that's a little notebook in there. And then you have this beautiful journaling card that is uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper on the inside. The lace pocket in the back. And then that's it. And then that's the back. Um, so you got the metal book corners on all four corners. And this ties up beautifully and it holds down nicely. I mean, it's it's got quite the alligator mouth without it being tied. You see all the beautiful laces and the tags sticking out the pockets. And it's just lovely. It's lovely and fluffy and beautiful and ready for its new home. So I hope to see you at Keisha's Creations. That's the only place you're going to find this journal when it goes up for auction. Um, at her market, the virtual craft vendors market. So yeah, everybody is welcome. I always put the notice up in my Facebook group and I'll put the link for my Facebook group below this video as well. Uh, when the market goes live so that you can see if she has some items that I've created. I want to thank you all so much again and big hugs and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.